I got a letter this morning, boy. Hey, hey, honey. I got a letter this morning, boy. Hey, hey, honey. As soon as we sat down, Leah says, first one to find an animal buys the other person a beer. So those are the wagers that we're going off of right now. I feel like that should always be a standing rule when we're yeah. out. First one to find it every day. Why is it so cloudy? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I need to whip them around a little bit. For another scenario. Really wish I could take a nap. I think if you lean a little farther out, you can hear it better. You're gonna get a flat every once in a while. But like mile and a half to go down to the truck and be ready. Get on out of here. Then we go get a puppy. We go get a puppy. We become parents. Oof. That's... Responsibilities. Edna? Edna. Aww. If you'll notice, she's cute, but half of her head is wet. And she looked Leah right in her eyes and peed. In the back seat <laughs> as I was trying to get her out. So she had a little lesson. Therefore, her head's a little wet. And now, gets confined to a space. Ooh, I'm sorry. Whoa. We're at the shoot. I leave Saturday morning for Alaska, so we're gonna do a little bit of shooting this morning. Mm -hmm. Just kind of on a hillside now. I'm looking into an area that I actually found bucks on um, in June, later June. So they look like they were going to be good bucks. Um, the next time we tried to come in, we ended up getting a flat tire. Kind of derailed our plans of being able to get up there. Walking out on the ridge that I actually saw the bucks on, jumped one of them up. And uh, that was mid-July, so haven't been able to been back in here to get back in here. I shot a doll sheep in Alaska last month.
filmed a bighorn sheep hunt in Wyoming that we we got a ram on so been busy up until this point so we'll just see what we can find Leah gets off work tomorrow and is coming up tomorrow night and then we're gonna hunt Saturday and then Sunday afternoon she'll peel out I might go with her or I might stay depending on what we see Jordan's talking to me and all of a sudden she looks at me and is like, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> that fox had stalked over to the other side of the ridge where Jordan and I were now sitting and uh, was like five feet away from us, right behind us. I knew I'd been had. <laughs> Jordan's eyes got so damn big. <laughs> A little bit of smoke and kind of hazy this morning. So we're gonna move closer. Get on a finger over there and get a little different angle on it. Where are you going? Ready? <laughs> Whoops. Well, Jordan, what's... It's Sunday. It's Sunday. We gotta go home. And we're just gonna readjust. Try some place that's maybe a little lower, maybe a little, a little less rocky. And then that's all I find. I don't know. Anything else. <laughs> Ready to go? Come on. Doll sheet, carne asada, is what we're doing. And then we're gonna go to bed and and then try to hopefully get into elk. <laughs> <laughs>
We both have deer and elk tags, so we just, whatever. Whatever comes closest to us in the moment. Yeah. Shake. Shake. Good girl. Good girl. Lay down. Good girl. Good girl. Gotta warm your tortillas. That looks so good. Sheep in elk camp. Big fan. No, I mean. Random uh, pro tip for hunting. Keep your junk food ketchup packets and salsa packets. You don't actually go to McDonald's, do you? We're healthier than that. We're super healthy. We're better than that. <laughs> Sometimes the only option. So you see what I've been telling Nothing like it seems. Never but ever I been in this area. Just picked a little drainage a couple miles in, and here we are, glassing. Finding deer. I feel really good about this. Feel better about this than last weekend. The bigger of the ones got up, got he, the sun finally got on him. He got up and spun around and kind of went out of sight, but I think he's like, I think I can see his back. He's in this little thing of shade. So the smaller one that was laying close to him is still there. So I'm just gonna keep an eye on this situation. The um, stock didn't exactly turn out. She was like super damn close, I think, and they busted out. <laughs> I was hoping that they would just like stand up and act like dumb mule deer forkies and stare at me, but the little forky was laying right there in the shade. I could just see his head. All the other bucks were back on there behind this tree. I couldn't see him. He jumped up, and I tried to give him the old er <laughs> to, to get him to stop. She just said, hey. Hey, you son of a gun. <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop is probably their preferred. Stop. stop. <laughs> Leo loves trivia. What is this sun-loving reptile? What the hell? <laughs> An iguana. It is an iguana. A large type of deer from the USA and Canada is also known as what? I'm not telling you. A large type of deer? Yeah. <laughs> the other ones are too easy. It's in Canada and the US and it's really large. A mule deer? It's a type of deer. It's a moose. That is not a type of deer. Yeah, it is. No, it's, it's in the not. deer family. That's bullshit. <laughs> it's in the moose family.
Back forks are lacking a little bit and he's a little light, but he has a bad ass hook cheater coming off his right side. I guess that makes up our minds for what we're doing tomorrow. It's really hard to glass. It's very lucky.